one is the amount of dates is just at the moment is at a level where I need to basically stop um, <laughs> stop matching girls and stop reaching out because the volume is literally too high. I've, I've you know, <laughs> yesterday was the like craziest day. I had like eight girls scheduled for yesterday. So I was like canceling on like half of them, right? And basically my whole, like I could schedule girls for the next 10 days easy, like three girls a day, four girls a day at the moment easy. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I'm here today with uh, one of my current eight-week mentorship students, who's actually a, a rare case in the fact that he's very advanced. He came on the program already having been with 300 girls, which is rare. I, I get guys like that from time to time, but I wanted to show you how even at a level like this, even after being with 300 girls, uh, there's still significant areas to improve and polish in the system. So welcome, Tom. You wanna to give a little background about yourself? Hey, sure, um, thanks. So yeah, like you said, you know, I've, um, I'm in my mid, mid to late 30s, um, had a lot of experience with girls before, um, have you know, looked at different people's advice on it since years, right? It was always a main topic in my life. I think for you guys, the main topic, but I've really gone, you know, try to try to optimize what I'm doing, try to learn from mistakes and stuff. Yep. So I've been back and forth on different strategies, how to deal with them. Um, and even though I've been pretty successful, quote unquote, I always felt like there's, um, is not efficient enough. You know, I look at things from like a management perspective a lot of the time, like how can you optimize each step along the process? Yep. And I always felt that it's not optimal. So, um, and I guess we're going to talk about that now. I feel like your approach is, is pretty, um, you know, definitely helped significantly in a lot of these steps. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So um, a lot of you guys are familiar. I'll, I'll put up the graph of my results progression, but you see it's like a smooth exponential where it took about 10 years at the first hundred girls. Then it was about hundred to 150 a year. And the best year was 246 back in mid 2017 and mid 2018. At the time of recording this, I'm up to 1,374. And it's not just about maxing uh, quantity. I've always ran big rotations. Uh, Tom is running ro rotations as well. But yeah, I wanted to jump in and, and show uh, what my optimizations were able to do to add value to him at, a, at an advanced level, at a, at a 300 count level. So do you want to go through some of the, the, major, the major areas where you, where you found help? From, from what I recall, I know that some of the texting stuff helped, uh, the rotation management stuff helped as well, or, or rotation, uh, the retention in the first place to get them to stick on rotation. But there's some other things too. So do you want to go through some of these? Yeah, so you know, b before I go into detail, I think the the main thing I want to say is that the way you outline like what's important, <clears throat> that's that's you know the, 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 that's key, right? You have to first identify what matters along the process, yep. and so you have things for like most of my or almost all of my um, my dates basically come from online dating. That's just me. Some people like to go out; it's really not my thing, especially during COVID. It's really, you know not a priority for me. And since many years, I've been very focused on online dating. So there are a couple like areas in online dating, there are actually not that many, but there are a couple areas that really matter. Um, and you need to optimize them. And I'm basically focusing on and emphasizing what matters, how to optimize those areas mm -hmm. um, is key for, for, for guys to understand. And you know, once, once you got the matches or you know, wherever you are and which site you are, then the texting comes into play and I, I feel like your your texting um you know outline templates are spot on and they're way easier than what i used to do way easier than what i've seen from other people um pretty self-explanatory too um mm -hmm. and um yeah overall super super efficient from what i've seen thanks yeah so yeah the, the text uh charts that he's referencing those are in the the platinum dating system eight week mentorship course you can jump on a free 30 minute call for those who are interested the link in the description they're also in my leads machine course at sexleadmachine.com we'll put the link up for that at the bottom but uh for those of you that, that aren't familiar basically it defines every control path to go from a match to a phone number on the online apps and to go from a phone number to a public date or a date straight to the house so it tells you what to do if she ignores cancels reschedules flakes there's objections uh, all listed out. So there's comfort objections, safety objections, objections, logistics objections. And texting is one of the most difficult pieces of the game, especially if you're trying to just free form it and, and text off the cuff. It's going to be a lot less effective. 
uh, than to just use tried and true sequences, which are, are pretty much just like deductive compliance ladders. So the opener has a, a pretty high response rate. And then once they reply to the opener, it's just a grease slide to get to get them from Tinder to the phone or to get them from the phone to a date. So, so okay, so the text sequences uh, helped you a lot. And then, so, so you're ending up with even more dates. And I think your quality increased too, right? You're, you're going out with hotter girls as well. Yeah, that's true. So there are a couple of <clears throat> couple things that improved. Um, one is the amount of dates. It's just at the moment it's at a level where I need to basically stop um, <laughs> stop matching girls and stop reaching out because the volume is literally too high. I've, I've you know, <laughs> yesterday was the like craziest day. I had like eight girls scheduled for yesterday, so I was like canceling on like half of them. Right, and basically my whole. Like I could schedule girls for the next 10 days easy, like three girls a day, four girls a day at the moment easy. And those are like seven, seven pluses, right? Uh -huh. um, so the, the volume, me also focusing on it, of course, but the volume with kind of the efficiency really, really picked up. Mm -hmm. um, me following up with some of the girls that increased a lot. Yeah, um, the, the, the that was another big aspect, right? The, the follow-up yeah. stuff. I, th I think you weren't following up as much. You you said it was like a pride thing where if, if she didn't get back to you, then you would just kind of let it ride. But then that stalls out the lead. Whereas I was I was trying to uh, bring in the, the advice that a lot of these girls are actually just busy and distracted and it's nothing personal. And so uh, kind of like a persistent and regular follow-up is going to help convert a lot of the ones that didn't initially respond. Right. Yeah, there, there are a couple like um, schools out there that say, you know, don't chase them or, you know, if she doesn't reply, never double text, that kind of thing. And I think it speaks to um, the pride in a lot of men who, you know, we get rejected a lot, right? That's part of our part of our role. You have to get out there and get rejected a lot to yep. get the result. And I think that this, you know, don't, don't double text, don't chase them, you know, next, that type of mindset speaks to a lot of guys. Um, but from and and it spoke to me too for years, man. And even with my experience, right? And from what I've seen now mm -hmm. with this new approach, it's um, it's really not <laughs> it's not really a lot of negativity there. When get when girls ignore it, they they get bombarded with stuff, right? Yep. And they also might test, you know, see how you how you respond if they kind of let you on scene or if they give you a vague answer. You're going to just disappear. Are you going to like follow up on them and make it happen? Like I've seen a lot of like positive reactions to actually being assertive and following up with them. And there's almost never a, you know, aggressively negative response to like stop texting me or anything. It's very rare. So yep. following up is actually, it was a big improvement in my, in my, in my approach. Yeah. And lots of times they're just distracted too. I mean, people, people have busy lives. People, you don't know what they're doing when the message comes in. And like you said, especially if they're, they're a pretty hot girl, they're getting inundated with stuff on the apps or stuff on text and your, your threads just get buried. So by hitting them up at, at another time, now maybe they're available, et cetera. So all things, at the end of the day, the, I, this was a scientific method that went into building all this and the optimizations. So I tried, you know, I tried the other side of the coin and stuff like that. And most, most times it just stalemates and in, in the, in the, you're battling against lead erosion over time. So it's, it's better to aggressively follow up and work each one to the bone rather than to let a lot of your leads stall out from uh, time yeah. passing. Yeah. Agreed. About, yeah. yeah. Did you want to, did you want to touch on the, the rotation stuff, how the retention game improved? Sure. Yeah. Um, that also kind of comes back to the same, you know, mindset I used to have before the don't chase type of thing where I would basically get, get solid girls. Um, but then I would, I would kind of leave it up to them to reach out in terms of, you know, let's see if she, if she's really interested, that type of thing. Um, and I would also have a, I, th I think I definitely developed like a player vibe. Um, yeah. And, you know, if, if you have a combination of you have a player vibe and then you don't follow up with the girls that you met, right. That kind of sends the message to them that you're only interested in one night stand. And I didn't really see that. Yeah. I thought that, okay, it kind of, showing being unattached is attractive and they're going to reach out after some some time that type of mindset and that didn't really work for me it worked sometimes but really not not a high percentage yeah and so you know the the steps basically what you're doing right without going into detail but basically what you're what you're lining out is for how to keep girls you know do these three four things at these three four moments when 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 you meet them and that's been that's been working for me much better than before yeah um, and 
yeah, you know, it's, it's these things, once I do them, they actually feel very natural, yeah. which is, which is great, you know, because it kind of reminds you of, okay, yeah, this is actually how it's supposed to be. And this is how, this is what women react to and what they actually want in certain situations and figuring it out. This is pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. And I think a lot of that, like you said, it ties back to the same theme of where a lot of these ideas in the community were, you know, play it cool, you know, don't double text, let her come to you after you bang her. A lot of that stuff is good in theory, but not in practice. It's same. You and I had the discussion about there was, there was some other coach that was advocating that you just give your number to her. And, uh, you know, we both have tested that and it's, I, I've tested it pretty extensively and, and the, and the, you know, the, the odds of her hitting you up are, are very low. I, I've tested with, with lots of other friends that are high value and stuff like that. And um, just the fact of the matter is she's not trying to like work leads like a machine. She's not, it's not a top priority for her, even if you're a high value guy. So, you know, it's, it, it would be the same thing with any other field. If you, you know, if you were in sales or anything like that, oh yeah, just, you know, here's my card, just give me a call versus setting up an actual appointment. And then you have something on the calendar, right? If you just leave it all in their court, it's you're relying on them to take the action, which, which if they're a pretty girl, it's not going to be at the top of their priority list. Um, okay. So that, so the retention was a big one. The, the lead working, um, the, the being persistent following up. Was there any other uh, major changes that come to mind that where, where a lot of value was provided? I think, you know, I, I came into this program, obviously not with the goal of like getting necessarily more girls because the, the volume was okay, even though the volume has picked up, but um, kind of getting into more quality growth, right? Quality. Getting like eight, nines and tens. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm seeing that working now and, and you know, that result, like matching with high quality girls basically comes down to a couple, like one or two things that you need to just optimize in your, in your online profile. Right. That's, yep. that's how you can match with match with the girls. And then you need to just basically follow the same process that you follow with all of the girls, which is the advantage of having a system that's standardized. Right. And um, so you don't start doing things differently with the hot girls. Mm -hmm. That's a mistake that many guys did. And I, I figured that out a while ago, but you're still kind of battling with your emotions, right? At yeah. the beginning when the girl's like super hot, yep. you're going to make the move later. You're going to follow up sooner. You're going to, you know, yeah. do things a little bit differently with them typically. Right? Yep. That's a mistake. And that girls feel that stuff, right? And they, they feel that you're not used to having that kind of caliber of girl and that turns, turns them off. Yep. And so basically have you know following the game plan and going through the motions a couple of times will get you used to that and you know i, I told you um i'm at the moment dating a, a fashion week model i'm dating a bunch of you know eights nines at the moment fashion week model i would tell her to say if she's a solid 10 i think that's that's fair to say yeah. so look um results speak for themselves i've just been in the program for a couple of weeks and they're like significant improvements across the whole yeah that's good the, yeah, I appreciate you coming on the channel. That's why I wanted to, to have you tell your your story because um, a lot of guys, you know, I get guys that have been with like 20 girls, 30 girls. They think that they have it all figured out. And I really respect the guys that are at multi-hundred late count. I, even myself, I remember when I was at like 700 or 750, Alex from Playing With Fire came on the scene and I, I looked at his stuff and I thought, hmm, I think he's doing some things better than me here, which hadn't happened in a long time in, the, in terms of coaches putting stuff out that I that I could you know, actually improve my system with, but I think that's key to always progressing further is to, is to never seeing the game is actually mastered, but it's always a work in progress. There's always new angles. So I'm constantly trying to find new optimizations and new angles and stuff like that. And that, that's precisely why it followed that exponential trend. Um, right. One other, and, and that's great that there's still, there's still a bunch of areas we can add improvement to even at a, a multi hundred late count level. Um, one other thing, I, I remember you mentioned on the last call about, how you you spoke to other coaches and, and you looked at other coaches material and stuff like that and you thought the big differentiator with my stuff was that i'm i'm getting into not just showing what matters and, and how to prioritize it but also the the aspect of giving specific kind of can you can you touch on that a little bit about giving very specific advice in different yeah. areas for sure yeah this is something i touched on before a little bit but you know just to like emphasize that point is um you know Basically, you know, the way um, I look at, I've been looking at this and the way you clearly look at, you know, this whole dating process, basically like a funnel, right? Yeah. Um, and so you have different steps along the funnel from, you know, matching or, you know, cold approaching and whatnot to um, oh, having right. sex with her and then keeping her rotation, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. 
and um, so you have you have you have this process, and there you know each of those points you can do mistakes, so you can do them, you can pass them correctly, right? Mm-hmm. And so I think guys have faced problems in typical points, right? Be it approaching or along the process, they're different points, and so you can basically identify or ask the guy like where are you struggling? Do you have enough dates? Do you, can you keep the girls? Da, da, da. And so when, when you identify the area where the guy is struggling, you have these, you know, two, three, four, five, like things like do this. Yep. Right. And then the guy does it and then they see, okay, so now this area is picking up. And so, you know, what I really like about your approach is that it's not fluff talk. It's not um, motivational shit. Yeah, it's not vague nonsense. It's which like is, okay, I, most I, of the I industry, have, unfortunately, right? Yeah, and um, you know, it's it's very um, you know engineering based, so it's scientific, right? Like I have a problem at this, like with a conversion rate. This is how I look at it, man. Yeah. I have a problem converting from this step to the next step. Yeah. So what what are the high impact things that I need to do to do that? Exactly. And uh, that's what it's all about, man. It's about converting, like converting more of your leads to to the later stages. It's what, what it's all about. Yep. Yeah. A lot of guys that come on the program, they're uh, most people are notoriously bad at text game, and by providing all the optimized text and messaging sequences, that already starts converting numbers into dates. And then a lot of times, guys will bottleneck at the next step at dates. They're not. They're they're making key mistakes on dates. But then I give them the major structural game plan on how to run the dates or fix the major problems that they're making on the dates. And now they're bringing home most dates to the house once they go out in public on that date. And then I show them how to do the close optimally. And exactly, just like you said, it's identifying where the bottlenecks and clearing them with these major high impact uh, recommendations. So yeah, that's awesome. Uh, did you have any, anything else you wanted to add? Um, I mean, on, on top of this, I think that the calls that, um, you know, in this program, the um, kind of couple couple of times per week talking to you and, and the coaches directly is, is really good. Uh-huh. Um, because you can speak about, you know, this is what happened to me. What, what would you have done? You get the direct feedback. Um, so that also helped me, you know, because what, what I'm basically doing is I'm, I'm obsessed with this stuff, right? I, like yeah. I think many guys are, they need to want to just get better at it. And yep. so I'm you know, a perfectionist. So whenever I feel like, okay, this is something that I'm actually not sure about in this moment, like how do you do that? I just take a note and then I have like five to 10 questions every couple of days, maybe week. And so we just go through them and things get cleared up really quickly. So I think yep. the program is awesome. Um, That's great. Really, really- yeah. And yeah, what he's referring to guys is, so there's, there's four calls per week that are two hours each, usually a little longer, two, two and a half hours. Uh, two of them are with me, two of them are with the head coach of my team. And it's a small group of guys and everybody cycles through. So you get to hear the answers to everybody else's questions too. So you fix other stuff that you, that you either have run into and forgot to ask about or that you will run into, or if you already know the answer, you're still getting a, a kind of a recap from a, from a high level and, and optimization standpoint. Um, so yeah, the, the calls are very, very productive as well. And since there's four a week across eight weeks, there's 32 total calls. And so it's this tight kind of uh, iteration process. So the reason why this type of program is far superior to the traditional three-day bootcamp model is in three days, there's not enough time to properly train across the entire system. And there's not enough time to properly get into all the situations. In three days, you're not gonna be going on lots of dates and being in lots of closing situations, lots of retention situations, et cetera. But across eight weeks, you're gonna be encountering every aspect of the game and we can fix things you know, from, from call to call. So you're literally making levelings up every, every day or two. Right. So, and, and a lot of the big things are being handled up front in the beginning of the program. So then, you know, in the first few weeks, we're already clearing away most of the big problems. And then it's more of a refining process, you know, going in and kind of fine tuning on the, on the smaller elements that have, have less return, less ROI for the fix. But by the end of the eight weeks, things are extremely polished. And we're, we've been doing this with guys at a virgin level on the other end of the spectrum. We have a lot of virgins doing like five girls in three weeks or uh, eight girls in eight weeks or, you know, guys that that fail with a bunch of other programs, losing their Virginia on day four and having seven dates on the second week of the program. So uh, the results are, are very, very incredible. If you guys are, are interested in, um, you know, massively, as you heard, this uh, this gentleman here was able to massively upgrade his his skills in different areas, even after having been with, with 300 girls. So he was already doing a lot of the stuff correct or very close to optimized, but those extra little tweaks 
make all the difference. And now he had to actually stop working lead is a nice problem to have, but you're able to, yep. to, to book out. The, and, and the reason for that guys is you don't want to book stuff uh, too far in advance because the, the odds of the girl flaking go up as time is elapsing. And also there's only so much time in the day. Like you said, you had eight girls <laughs> scheduled yesterday. Yeah. So Yeah. I mean, I mean, things changed, you know, as you get better at this stuff, your, um, you know, the way you handle things also change. I, I never used to double book girls. Now I do that all the time because I'm seeing when, when you increase the volume, the girls will flake, right? Some of the girls stuff comes up, right? Yep. Life happens. And so it's, it's in the end, it's like, do you want to um, spend the evening or the, the afternoon alone or should, <laughs> should she spend the afternoon alone, right? It's, it's, yeah. like a, it's that kind of thing. And so I prefer for me to have a good time and I try to cancel on them as early as possible. So th there's like a transformation of like your own mindset in the whole process of you getting, um, you know, more and, and hotter girls. Yeah. Um, and look, um, at the moment, I'm in a phase where it's like, difficult for me i need to get used to um you know saying no to sevens yeah you know for example like i just don't have the time to meet sevens anymore at the moment which is a great, great problem to have it's like the like you're going through that shift like fuck like this is a girl that you know a couple of weeks ago i would have dated like all day and now i just can't date her anymore because if i look at the other girls that are coming up then exactly. I just don't have time so it's it's interesting how you like go through your mind sh my mindset shifts uh, over time yeah. And another thing to note too, is like a lot of guys, like we've had some other guys in the program get what they would refer to as their perfect 10 as well. Just like you said, you got, and they're still seeing a bunch of other girls that are, you know, nine plus and, and also high quality. And I, I, one, one guy said that, uh, pri like prior to the program, he, he more than doubled his lake on the program. I think he had like 12 or 13 lifetime and he more than doubled it on the program. And he said that is the hottest girls he's ever slept with. And, and he said, part of the program, if he had gotten a girl like that, he would have been like hitting her up all the time and, and kind of like head over heels, you know, falling for the girl and this and that. And, and now he has multiple like that and he's not, you know, going into these beta mindsets and getting needy and right. the, the, the kind of behaviors that would, that would push her away. And he didn't even have the skills to get a girl like that in the first place. But now he also is able to like play it cool and that girl's awesome. And he, he enjoys her being part of his life, but it's not, it's not everything. He has his other girls as well. And that's exactly what helps him stay, alpha and, and, and maintain frame to the to the hottest ones so it's yeah so it's a great process yeah i mean look the, there's a lot of this is what i mean right there's a lot of blah blah out there about how to maintain this alpha mindset and so on but in like in my experience not sure how you see this we haven't discussed this but the way i see it is that you only get this mindset um with having um a lot of girls i agree you know like you can't fake being unattached to a girl. You, you can only yeah. be unattached to a girl if you have a bunch of alternatives and it yeah. actually doesn't matter that much. That's, that's, when, you, that's when you... Yeah. Yeah, right? that's, a, that's a very important point. And, I, and I've, um, unfortunately, and I'm, I'm sure you have too, a lot of people, a lot of guys, even at the advanced level, uh, I've cut off whole rotations for the, the full package stunner girls. And then I'll start mm -hmm. drifting into like, you know, wondering what they're doing, texting them too much. You know, some of, the, some of these behaviors that just because you're not working a whole bunch of other girls or seeing a bunch of other girls, they become more important. And, you know, there's no way around that. I'm not afraid to, to admit that. And, and you can't keep everything like as, as sharp and, and, uh, and tight as you would if you were seeing those other girls. So, yeah, I always joke around with my advanced friends that uh, the best way to keep a hot girl is, is to, to see a bunch of other girls. And if she's official, the best way is to at least be flirting with girls on the side, if, even if, you, if you're not comfortable with you know, seeing them uh, on the side behind her back or whatever that, or that, you know, or don't get official in the first place. So you don't have to actually cheat on her, but right. that is the best way to maintain the, the alpha mindsets and the, you know, it's a, it's the abundant scarcity stuff. You know, yeah. once you have a yeah. bunch of other options, they sense that. And yeah. a lot of this is, is, um, you know, evolutionary and, and tribal as well. If, the, if this girl was your only option for reproduction, she would obviously, you'd be telegraphing that she's, super important to you and all this and all this other stuff and, and a bunch of behaviors and, and actions that are potentially unattractive. So, um, yeah, but no, I appreciate you coming on. Did you, did you have any, any last thoughts or? No, I mean, I think we went over a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, just summarizing, I think your program is, is amazing. Like, um, highly, highly recommended.
That's awesome. Yeah. So for those of you that are interested, uh, you can jump on a free 30 minute call to go over the details. We'll go over uh, whatever level you're currently at, what your goals are, what your weaknesses are, and what our game plan would be to optimally train you across the whole system and fix all the problems as fast as possible and get your calendar filled up with women to the point where you don't have time to see them all. That's the, that's the goal to get that happening as quick as possible. And that happens with most guys in the first, you know, two to four weeks or so. So do not hesitate, jump on that free 30 minute call. Uh, thank you, Tom, for coming on and, and sharing your story. Also guys like comment and share and subscribe below if you have not already. And again, thanks for, for coming on and, uh, Wish you great things through the rest of the program. Thanks, man. Okay, thanks a lot. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.